You're watching the Guns and Roses. Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to GNR Central and we got some rumors hitting the internet uh, the past 24 hours. So this one comes courtesy rock journalist Mitch LaFon. So it looks like there's going to be a T-Rex um, tribute album being recorded and according to Mitch LaFon he says unsubstantiated report claims that Guns N' Roses have recorded a cover of T-Rex's Children of the Revolution for inclusion on an upcoming tribute album. Other artists on the album are said to include U2, Elton John, Foo Fighters, and Joan Jett. Until released, consider this to be a rumor. Now, keep the, let's keep things in perspective. Mitch LaFon's been right about some stuff. He's been wrong about some stuff. I think he was the guy who reported that Dave Kushner was going to be like the third guitarist in the Guns N' Roses reunion, which turned out to be BS. But he was one of the first guys who reported about the Appetite for Destruction reissue. He also reported the price, which he got wrong. I remember back in the summertime, he said, oh yeah, there's going to be an Appetite reissue. But he, I think he called it a Welcome to the Jungle reissue, or it was going to be called Welcome to the Jungle. And uh, he said the price was going to be like $650 for the uh, the uh, the locked and loaded box set. And then everybody kind of laughed and said, $650, that's ridiculous. They would never charge that much. And then sure enough, they actually made the announcement and it was $999 instead. He also knew that they were going to release a lot of different goodies and add-ons and extras as part of the Appetite reissue, which he was right about. So this is the original article that was published about the T-Rex tribute album. I could see Guns N' Roses doing a tribute to T-Rex. I mean, they covered the band on the Spaghetti Incident. Uh, T-Rex has been a huge influence on Guns N' Roses. So it wouldn't really surprise me, but for some reason I have my doubts that they've actually been in the studio. But let's talk about the original article. So this article is dating all the way back to October 29th of this year. So this is a star-studded tribute album celebrating the music and legacy of glam rock act T-Rex and its frontman Mark Bolin will be released next year. Variety reports, among those well-known acts who will be contributing to the project include U2, Elton John, and Joan Jett. Now the original article doesn't, doesn't make really any mention of Guns N' Roses. Uh, it doesn't really say which songs will be on the tribute album, and I wonder where the Guns N' Roses rumor came from. But if you guys go to the My GNR forums, there's a thread that was started uh, about a like a couple days ago, actually by one of the moderators, and uh, he's basically trying to consolidate all of the rumors that are going around. Some people think there's going to be a new studio album coming with an announcement in January. There may be some sort of GNR announcement. I think in January people are saying. I th some people think it's going to be a live record with some bonus studio tracks. I don't know how any of this is even possible because Slash has been doing press. He's been saying, "Listen, we haven't talked really about. We haven't really decided to make a new record. It's something we'll revisit. It's something we've talked about, but it doesn't seem like they've went into the studio." So the only thing I could think of is maybe it's a live record, which I really think would be a wasted opportunity. I mean, we already have Live Era. Do we really need another live album from Guns? Considering a lot of the songs they're playing in their set list are already on the album Live Era. But as we get more information, we'll let you guys know. Um, I, I, it's a lot of people say there's rumblings going on behind the scenes and there will be some sort of announcement with Guns N' Roses. The other thing that I keep in mind is that um, uh, Sla <coughs> excuse me, Slash is going to be on tour. Uh, basically from 2019, like the beginning of 2019, all the way until probably August, September. So I don't think he's going to have a lot of downtime to be recording and going into the studio. But, you know, if, if the rumor is true, I have to say it, it might be a good way for Guns to sort of get those creative juices flowing. I mean, they have worked on arranging songs like they've done with some of the covers they've done, like Wichita Lineman, um, Black Hole Sun. But this would really mark the first time the band has really gotten into the studio. And it kind of reminds me of Sympathy for the Devil. Like Slash was reluctant to do the track, but he thought it would be a good way to get the band back in the studio back in 94. And then maybe things would work out for them to work on the next record. But we all know how that ended up working out. Now Guns N' Roses is in a much different place these days. But I think, you know, I would take a cover if that means that maybe it's a way for them to feel out what it's like being in the studio again after so many years off. And then maybe they'll start writing a couple songs and recording some ideas. And who knows, maybe we'll have a Guns N' Roses album before we know it by 2026. So let me know your guys' thoughts based on these rumors. Just keep in mind the rumors for now. As we get more information, we'll keep you guys updated. And you guys know where to stay for the latest GNR news. Just come to GNR Central or go check us out at GNRCentral.com for all the breaking Guns N' Roses and related news. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow with an absolutely fantastic true story episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one. Yeah.